Alrighty guys, step two. Step two is going to be uh, the sun shell, the reaction tube, and front ring gear and front planetary. So to start this first thing, well actually to go over something first on uh, stock units or units that have like a hardened sun shell, uh, there's usually going to be a different style race in here that takes a little plastic washer, thrust washer that looks like this. Uh, I have a Sonic Smart Shell and it uses a little bit different contraption, so that uh, is not pertainable to this one. The Sonic Start Smart Shell has a, a different race inside of the low uh, sprag assembly, the re reverse sprag assembly, and then that allows extra clearance for this bearing that's on the Sonic Smart Shell instead of and then that, instead of putting all the weight on this little bearing down here, it spreads out the load a lot better. And that's one reason why the Sonic Smart Shell can handle a lot more horsepower and stuff like that. But anyway, that's why it's a little different. Uh, I didn't even know I had the Sonic Smart Shell until I tore this apart. Because when I bought this transmission from Performa Built, uh, that was an add-on that you could do, but I didn't do that add-on. I did just opted for the beast because that was supposedly really good too. But uh, needless to say, when I opened it up, I had the Sonic Smart Shell, so cool. I'm quite impressed. I'm really glad I have that actually. I wanted it after I did a little bit more research. I was like, oh man, I should've got that. But lo and behold, I had it. So that's pretty cool. All right, back to assembly. Step one, take the sun gear, inspect it, make sure the bushings are good. Um, Probably want to replace the bushings. I replaced all the bushings in this since I had it torn apart. I'm not going to show how to replace bushings because if you don't know how to do a bushing, then you probably shouldn't be working on a transmission. Um, honestly, I probably shouldn't be working on a transmission, but hey, we're going to give it a shot, right? Always something, always something I wanted to learn how to do, so this is my shot. All right, so you take the, the sun gear put it into the rear planetary assembly, make sure it moves freely still. And then once that's on there, you're gonna wanna, this bush or this bearing, I already have goop on it to hold it on there, but you're gonna wanna put the goop on there. Um, if you have the normal style, you'll just put the plastic thrust washer down there and then take your case and put it on there. But for me, this is going in like that. And then you want the shell to go into the splines, just like that. And it is down all the way. All right, after that, this is one of the pieces I had to replace on mine because I had a lot of wear on it, was my reaction shaft. Had a lot of bushing wear right here. I could feel it, I could scratch it, all that fun stuff. So. I needed to get a new one. Um, this is the Sonex heavy duty one that they came out with not too long ago. Uh, it's billet, it's supposed to be really good. Uh, probably would have got away with just another stock one because it was fine, but figured got it apart. Might as well make it beefier where I can, especially in a 5,000 pound plus truck making 500 foot pound to the wheels with 435 horsepower, might as well might as well beef it up, especially with the bigger tires I got. So I already put goop on there to hold it, and then you're just gonna turn it around, stick it in there just like that, and then make sure it goes all the way down, just gently, you don't wanna force anything. engage the, the rear sprag so it'll only turn one way, it locks up, and then it's clockwise, so that's good. All right, next piece of the puzzle, forward planetary. Uh, with the Sonax heavy duty reaction shaft, they call for this little shim that I have on here in the instructions. 
along with the new bearing that it comes with. Uh, so it's going on and I am putting it in. And then that just slides in there and then that's good. Everything's spinning nice. All right. So next is going to be the output shaft. So let me get my table over here. With a hole in it. And then I'll set you guys up so you can you can see. So we'll take this off. in the phone get my little contraption I made to hold my phone for my clamp there's my phone holding setup actually works pretty good didn't know how well it would work but all right so let me that'll turn you guys this way slide it into my little contraption here Pause the video. Now let me get it balanced. And then let me check the, the angle. So see if you guys can turn this light on. Scoot it this way a little bit. Is that better? That's pretty good. All right, so you're gonna take the output shaft. And then I made a hole in this little $12 Walmart table so I can get, get underneath here and push everything up. snap ring pliers, my snap ring, and then it's just gonna go over the, the shaft into the, there is a groove there for the snap ring, just like that. Ta-da, we got it installed output shaft. Alrighty, part two is done. Thanks, you guys.